This week's special issue on food security tackles a pretty complicated problem. How to make sure everyone in the world has enough to eat. Now, to understand the basics of the food security challenge, it helps to know one number. Nine billion. That's what demographers expect world population will be in just 40 years. That's about three billion more people than we have now. And most of them will live in poorer, less developed nations in Africa and Asia. The problem is that many of those nations are already having trouble feeding their people. Sometimes there just isn't enough food. Sometimes there's enough food, but people can't afford to buy it. In any case, the concern is that food insecurity will grow as the population grows. Already, more than two dozen countries are facing a serious risk of food insecurity, and many of them are the same countries in Africa and Asia that are already having trouble feeding their people. Unfortunately, there is no single solution to reducing that risk. It will require understanding the food implications of global markets, of international trade, of human psychology, even the food traditions that determine what we like to eat. Ensuring food security will also require figuring out how to get bigger harvests. By some estimates, global yields will need to double or even triple over the next 40 years to keep pace with population growth. In the special issue, we take a close look at how science and technology can help farmers boost yields, particularly in the developing world. We look at efforts to improve soil fertility, even in places where farmers might not have the money to buy synthetic fertilizers. We explore ways of getting more crop from every drop of water, especially in dry regions. We examine new methods of speeding the creation of better seed varieties. And we look at efforts to defend against the pests and diseases that can devastate harvests. Of course, these efforts aren't likely to blossom overnight. And researchers still need to figure out how to increase the food supply without seriously damaging the environment or adding to global warming. But eventually, researchers hope the world can balance food security with other needs and help farmers reap big enough harvests to prevent hunger. I hope you enjoy the issue. For Science Magazine, I'm David Malakoff.